Well, here's the first alert on what's coming next. We do have a cool night tonight, but then it's all about a warming trend. Look how warm it gets as we get to Friday and Saturday, 85 to 87. And then we get a fall chill. In fact, next week we'll have lows in the 30s and 40s. And that's what I wanted to get to that first alert to is that some, probably not in St. Louis, but some may see some frost by Tuesday and Wednesday morning next week. Tonight is still going to be a cool night. We're down to 48 in St. Louis, 42 in Arnold. But I do have some spots down a little farther south into the upper 30s from Potosi and Farmington to Sullivan to around 39 degrees. Uh, temperature 49 in St. Louis for our low. Not quite as cool, but just about as what we woke up to this morning. And then a little warmer in the afternoon. 72 degrees, mild and sunny at noon and 78 degrees by 3 o'clock. It's going to be a bit warmer. Normal highs of around 72 degrees. We're at 73 by 6 6 p.m. mild and clear. Now the trend is for warmer weather into Saturday and here it is in the temperature trend map where you see the yellow is that warmer air that starts to nudge its way in. You'll notice a little more Thursday and especially Friday and Saturday. Those are two warmest days, but look at that. There's that chill and that you're going to start to notice it much cooler on Sunday. That's an update. It comes in a little quicker, but you really notice it on Monday and Tuesday. We get into some sweater weather coming our way. I mentioned how you notice the temperature drop on Sunday. Look how we go from that 87 Saturday. That's our high Sunday at 73. And that's an update too, because the cold front that's bringing in some of that cooler air is indeed a little quicker. We're also going to be monitoring this Hurricane Milton for you. It's still expected to make landfall on the west coast of Florida, probably around the Tampa, Bradenton, Sarasota area. This will be Wednesday night into Thursday morning, weakening a little bit into a category three. But then when that happens, the wind field actually broadens out. So some significant storm surge anywhere from Fort Myers all the way to north of Tampa. Hurricane Milton is going to be powerful and large. We'll be monitoring that for friends and family down in Florida. OK, so next few days, all about the warming trend. Still cool in the mornings. Uh, by the time we get to the weekend, we have those highs in the mid to upper 80s. Not too humid, though. The cold front comes through, makes it breathe and cooler for Sunday and that's there's that cooler weather with the sweater weather by Monday and Tuesday highs are only in the 60s even through Wednesday.